everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here with you guys on a Monday for a change. Normally my um, release days are Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, but I'm here on a Monday for a very good reason. Um, today is the beginning of the um, first Love Notions uh, sale of the year. They typically have three sales a year. Um, so starting today through Friday, so the 2nd through the 6th, um, everything is 30% off, which is very, very exciting. Um, and then I've got a code for an additional 10% off the sale price, which has changed, okay? They are changing things up a little bit, and now my 10% off code is now TOM10, T-O-M, the number 10. That will get you 10% off, uh, an additional 10% off um, everything on the, um, so everything's 30% off. This will get you an additional 10% off of that sale price, <laughs> off everything on the, um, on the entire site, so which is very exciting. Classes, patterns, everything. Very exciting. Um, so I wanted to come on today and share um, that with you, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about some of my most worn patterns today. And then I'll be back again on Friday as kind of a wrap-up to the sale, and I have another exciting video for there for you there as well. I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year so far. We're only day two into it. Um, I'm obviously filming this ahead of time, but or maybe not obviously. I am. I'm filming this ahead of time. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so hopefully 2023 is off to a good start for you all. Um, and you know, hopefully I've not jinxed anything by saying that. <laughs> all right, so one of the questions that I get asked, I also have my laptop right here, so if you see me reaching over, I'm just waking it up just so I've got my notes here so that I don't forget anything. But one thing I get asked a lot, I do a lot of sewing, I make myself a lot of clothes, and I get asked a lot, you know, do number one, do you wear everything you make? And for the most part, yeah, I do, I, I wear it all. Um, I mean, there are a few duds here or there that get, you know, sent off to family members and that sort of thing. But for the most part, yeah, I wear everything that I make. Um, but I also get asked, you know, once you guys have seen a lot of these garments, what do I, what from like the, you know, from a long time ago, what do I still wearing? What am I still pulling out and putting into my wardrobe? Um, so what are my most worn garments, basically? Like, what's really standing the test of time? And I have pulled, I was going to try and go with 10, my 10 most worn Lead Notions patterns, but I couldn't narrow it down. <laughs> I came up with 11. Um, so we're going to go through all of those today, and I'm going to tell you why they're some of my most worn garments, and um, yeah, a little bit about that. So hopefully a little bit of inspiration, and this goes through all seasons. So I've got some more um, warm weather appropriate clothing as well as cool weather appropriate clothing. But hopefully this gives you some inspiration and maybe highlights a pattern or two that you don't yet have that you can take advantage of the 30% off sale. And um, well, plus the 10% with my code. <laughs> All right, let's get started so this video doesn't get horribly long. All right, so I'll be talking about the pattern and then I'll be showing, you know, kind of the garments that I'm talking about as well on my body. So the first one is the Metro Blazer. Now this one is pretty new to my wardrobe, but man, I am wearing all three of these a lot. I think I made my first one back last spring, uh, my white one. Number one, that does not, that is not just for warm weather, like, because it's a cream colored. I call it white. It's cream. It's my white, um, my warm white. But I have been wearing that nonstop, like, from spring, and then it was just like if things were cold in the summer, I would pull it out, wear it in the summer. It made its way into my fall wardrobe, and then I've even worn it this winter. So it is really, really going the distance. I have three of them. I've got my cream colored one. I have my red one, um, which is in my statement color, which is a, a, a warm red. This one's a little bit more brick red, but you know, same type of thing. And then, um, also the plaid, which kind of comes across as like a, a darker brown color because it is kind of a rusty camel color with black in there. So it, you know, it kind of reads um, brown a little bit, but it is a very subtle plaid. Um, and I just wear them both all of the time. A plaid blazer was in the fall capsule and in the winter capsule. And so this, I mean, I'm wearing this one for that one. It's so comfortable. It is such a great crossover between a blazer and a cardigan. So I love the look of blazers, and I am making one this winter, actually, um, a Jessica, like a, an actual tailored blazer, but because um, I just would like to have one in my wardrobe. But for all intense purposes, my lifestyle really lends itself. I need to be able to move, and I need things that are easy to, to toss on and off. So a, a knit blazer really ticks all of my boxes. It 
looks classic. Um, you know, my three style guide posts are classic, chic, and current, and um, it really clicks all of those, and I wear all three of these a ton. Highly recommend this pattern if you don't already have it. It's such a good one. All right, um, next up, and I think the, well, no, I guess they're not. I was thinking they were in alphabetical order. They are not, <laughs> not even close. <laughs> All right, the next one, because I was thinking about, okay, what do I really wear all the time? And as I was making up this list, I was still in my pajamas, and I'm like, oh my gosh, my comp my composed robe, I wear that every day. Um, I have one of these in my closet. It's made out of a, um, uh, it's a sweatshirting from Style Maker Fabrics. I'm trying to remember now what it's called, like Eco or Organic, oh, something along those lines, um, cotton, or a sweatshirting, so it's fleecy on one side, kind of, um, and then just like a jersey on the other side. It's not super fluffy jersey or fleecy, but um, it's a really great fabric. But I wear this robe all the time. I've made it up in this kind of a rusty color. It goes with all of my pajamas because it's in my color palette. <laughs> not that it has to. I mean, no one else sees me in my robe, but I wear this thing every single day. It's a great gift to give someone, but just make yourself one. Like it is, phenomenal. I put it on every evening before bed um, because I sleep really hot. I have to be cold, especially my arms. My arms need to be unencumbered with any kind of a sleeve. We'll get more into that in a little bit. So in the, especially in the cool months, but even in the summer months when the air conditioning and stuff is on, um, I'm in a some not skimpy, but I, I'm in a, a very um, not a warm pajama set. So I just need that robe in order to number one, be decent, but also to um, just to keep myself, my body temperature from plummeting because <laughs> It'd be very cold if I didn't have that on. And then I don't have to get into clothes right away. I can be in my pajamas for a little bit. So definitely recommend the Compose Robe. It is a really good one. Okay, next up are the Glissando pants. Now, as far as longevity, I would have to say that my navy linen Glissandos have just gone the distance. I've worn those things a ton. I mean, they're navy. Oh, here comes Gidget. They're in a heavyweight linen from the fabric store. Um, they really are great in spring and in fall. Um, really, summer too. I could wear them in summer, depending on what the occasion is. Um, I don't, I'm not able to wear them in winter though. They're just too lightweight for winter months, but, um, just because of the nature of the linen, but yeah, they are a fantastic pair. Now, recently though, I made, back in the fall, I made a pair out of cotton twill, like a salmon kind of colored cotton twill. I have been wearing those so much since I made them. These are more cold weather appropriate. I mean, they are cropped, so your ankles, you know, could get chilly potentially, depending on what your weather is like in your area. But, oh my gosh, I can't wait to pull these out. I put them away for right now just because it does get really cold here and I need a sock on. <laughs> but um, they have been fantastic in the fall and I know that I'll wear them a ton in the spring. So I do the glissandos when I omit the back darts and put elastic in the back. I still... You know, I still put them on and off with the button and zipper closure in the front, but the back um, as elastic just gives my waist more fluctuation possibilities, and um, that's worked really well for me. I do have a tutorial on that on the channel, under tutorials on the playlist, but great, great pants. I love those. I also have them in shorts, but um, actually I need a new pair of shorts. I've totally worn out the linen of my red linen shorts, so I'm going to have to make myself a pair as the weather gets warmer. All right, this is, let's see, one, two, three. Number four are the resolution bottoms. I made myself um, a pair of jogger, resolution bottoms joggers, and I wear them all the time. This is my answer to a legging. I just don't wear leggings. I've just kind of decided they, they just make me look top heavy because my thinner half is my lower half. So um, I just look top heavy really easy because I've got, you know, my, my figure does not look balanced when I'm in a legging or a skinny jean, to be honest. So um, anyway, I really prefer something with a little bit more um, heft on the bottom so that it balances out my upper half a little bit um, and then kind of gives me a, a little bit of a waist. Uh, but I've definitely been a fan of the joggers and the resolution bottoms, the jogger form are fantastic. And I, I wear them like I would, you know, most people wear leggings. So I wear those, they're my athleisure wear. They are, um, you know, if I'm just, you know, lay, lounging around the house, those are on my body. I love them. I have a second pair in the works that I'll be making up here soon, but my navy ones have, they get worn all the time. Absolutely all the time. Okay, next up. Okay, next up is the Harmony blouse. Now, this is one of my favorite woven tops. I love this thing. I've made it quite a few different times, both sleeveless and with a sleeve. Um, so I, 
I mean, I could go into, you know, I, the glissandos that I just showed you, um, a couple patterns ago in the navy i have them on with a harmony blouse which is this beautiful red fabric it's a rifle paper company red floral fabric it's all of my colors it's just gorgeous i love that top um but it's a statement piece so it doesn't get worn like a ton a ton because it is a statement piece i mean it goes into my wardrobe and it's still in my wardrobe but it just doesn't you know it's not something that i'm just wearing over and over and over and over again um but what is staying in my closet and being worn a ton since I made it is my cream colored or my ivory colored silk harmony. This is just like my silk woven t-shirt. Um, it's very comfortable. I wear it kind of interchangeably with a knit t-shirt um, and I made it in the fall so it hasn't um, you know, I haven't even had it that long, but I've been wearing it a ton since then. It's great for layering. Silk is a great insulator as well as great with wicking. So, um, cause it's a natural fiber. It'll keep you cool in the hot months and warm in the winter months. So it's great for layering even in the cooler months. Um, it's just, it's just stays in my closet and it's a really, really great layering piece. So, and I'll wear it by itself in the spring and summer as well, but yeah, it's gotten a lot of wear and I can just tell that it's going to be worn to death because it's just a standard cream colored <laughs> woven t-shirt. So, I mean, how is that not gonna go into all of my capsule wardrobes going forward? It's one of my basics and I'm so glad I got that one made up. Um, next is the Cadence, my Cadence dress. Now, this was re-released last year and um, onto their new block and uh, into the full extended size range and all that kind of stuff. And I was one of the testers for it. I've made two versions. Um, I love both versions, but the one I am wearing like all summer, I wore it all summer long, is my um, kind of a bluishy, um, I don't know, what color would you call that? It's not navy, it's a blue. Corn, it's not really cornflower blue, because it's a little richer than that, but whatever. It has a little purple. Royal, kind of? Um, <laughs> my linen one, um, I'm wear, I wore that all summer long. It was so easy just to pop on. I love the colors in that. It goes with everything in my wardrobe, and um, yeah, it just got worn. If it wasn't you know, the minute it got out of the laundry, I was pretty much grabbing it and putting it back on. So it spent most of its time in a laundry basket because about the time it came out of the laundry, it was right back on my body. Um, it was just so easy to wear this summer and it will be coming right back in in the spring. Um, and I wanna make more of these. I would like to make some um, more, you know, different weather appropriate ones as well. I love a shift dress on my body. The A-line skirt kind of balances out my upper bust, so, um, or my bust to help keep things in proportion. So I, I would like to make a few more, but it's so great to show off a wonderful fabric, um, such as this linen that I had in my stash. And yeah, it, it's that one specifically. I love both of my made, but that one specifically got worn a ton. Um, next is the Rhapsody blouse. I had to put this one on here. It's one of my favorite patterns that Love Notions does. It's just a, a beautiful top. Um, you know, it's, it's something a little different than like a button up or, you know, just a plain woven t-shirt. It's got a little bit more pizzazz to it. Um, so I was looking at that one and honestly, the one that I made back in the spring got worn all spring and summer. I, this is another one that almost the minute it was out of the uh, laundry, it was right back on my body. Um, I love the colors in this. I love the fabric that I chose for it. I love that it has a little bit of hint of red in there so I could put it with all my red accessories, um, red lip, all that kind of thing. Um, it was, yeah. It, I, I think that this one is, it's my newest Rhapsody, my most recently made Rhapsody, but I think it might be my favorite. It's a toss up. I have a red silk one too. That's also a really good one. Um, but I think that this one might be winning as my favorite and uh, getting worn a ton. I mean, I have a few that are in my wardrobe, but um, yeah, this one's probably the one that's, that's being worn the most. Um, next up is the Olympia dress. This was another one that was on my list of patterns that I really wanted to make and just hadn't gotten around to it. And then they re-released it, um, gosh, kind of at the end of the summer, I guess, in the full size or size range with the full bust, or cup sizes, actually. I think the Olympia comes with cup sizes. Anyway, they redid everything, and I was a tester for that one as well. I made it in this wonderful cotton jersey from So Batik. And guys, I wore this thing to death. I cannot wait for it to be, I mean, just as long as the spring comes where I can put a cardigan with it or um, one of my Metro Blazers with it. Um, I just need it to get just a little bit warmer because I don't want to wear it. I don't know. It doesn't feel like 
maybe it's the print that I really want to wear with tights necessarily, but if I can get to spring weather where it's okay for me to have a bare leg, I kind of made a midi length on this one. Um, I'm going to be, you know, layering it as much as I can because I think it is so flattering. Love the fabric that I chose for it. And yeah, I just feel really put together and yeah, it just feels very flattering and I, you know, it's a blue, but it's got kind of a subtle print on it. So it just kind of goes for everything. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. Um, this thing has just been worn a ton. And again, it's not even that old in my closet, but it's, it's going to be one that's going to be in there forever and ever. Um, okay, next up, and this kind of goes in conjunction with my composed rope, is the Luna Loungewear set. Like I said, I sleep hot, and I love the Luna, the Luna Loungewear I think is my favorite of their sleepwear patterns. Um, I've made quite a, a few of them, including some uh, mashups of the Resolution Bottoms with um, the Breckenridge Henley and all that kind of thing, but the Luna Loungewear nightgowns and then the two-piece um, top with the pants, I wear every single night. I wear those two nightgowns or that two-piece set every single night. Those, very rarely do I wear any of my other pajamas <laughs> because I like to have my arms um, without any fabric on them so I can regulate my body temperature with my arms by pulling the covers back or up. Um, I'm postmenopausal, so I, um, I, yeah. I've been postmenopausal since I was 28 because of, for surgery reasons, um, surgical menopause. So I just sleep really, really hot. So um, being able to have my arms free and um, being able to regulate my body temperature just makes a huge difference. Definitely the Luna Loungewear if you don't have that one. It's just such an easy one to make. It has a built-in bra now. So, and I make that for all of mine. I just find it, um, I don't know, if it keeps me feeling more secure. And, and it makes me feel like it keeps things pushed up a little bit. I mean, as much as a built-in bra can for my size bust. But <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm not all over the place when I'm sleeping, you know? Keeps things contained <laughs> little bit more but I love the Luna loungewear set and would highly recommend that one every single night I'm wearing one of those three Luna loungewear um, PJ sets okay next the title dress folks I love this version of the title my orange sherbet colored dress so much every single time I wore that thing I got compliments on it now if you've been following the channel you know that it had a very tragic um, situation that happened with it when I was at Disney. It, I was doing laundry because our clothes were all so very, very sweaty and my husband's shorts uh, bled all over my dress. Um, and I, it, it won't come out. I've tried everything. So, I mean, I could try over dyeing and all that stuff, but that's going to be really tricky because it's kind of a weird color. So how would you even anticipate what color you'd be dyeing it? Um, I don't know. I don't know that it's, it's worth it. Um, I still have it, but it's wadded up in a pile right now. So I'm on the hunt for more, um, fabric, kind of that color. I got that original one from Style Makers, but it was a remnant and, um, they don't have it anymore. It was a, a cotton, I think it was a cotton modal jersey, to be honest, a spandex jersey, but I am on the lookout for something that color because I would get comments every single time I would wear it. And I'm sure because it's a pretty, you know, it's just a t-shirt dress, but I do think that the uh, style line on it are very flattering on my figure but I really think what it was was the color like people were seeing the color on me and that's what they were like oh my gosh I love your dress because it really was you know it's just a t-shirt dress just a plain t-shirt dress but I would get complimented on that every single time I wore it to where it became almost comical um highly recommend that pattern and I will be making another one as soon as I can find more of that colored fabric so stay tuned <laughs> All right, and then finally, my number 11 is the Tessa sheath dress. The one that gets worn the absolute most is my kind of a dark blue Tessa sheath dress. This is my little black dress, my little blue dress, and I wear this thing all the time. I dress it up, I dress it down, I layer it, I wear it as is, um, you know, bold jewelry, bright lip, um, whatever. I love this pattern, and it is one that I grab. It, I feel like this is a good silhouette on my body as well. Um, and the blue one specifically is just very easy to dress up or dress down. So this one is my answer to the little black dress, because I don't wear black dresses. <laughs> I don't wear black. Um, I uh, love that blue one though, and it really goes the long haul. 
So there you have it guys. Those are my 11 most worn Love Notions patterns. I hope that was some inspiration for you guys to go and shop the sales yourself. Again, the code TOM, T-O-M-10, so that's different than it has been, um, will get you an additional 10% off the 30% off um, sale. And everything's already discounted, so there's no code necessary for the 30% off. Everything is discounted, so um, that code will just get you an additional 10%. All right, guys, that's all I've got for today. Happy shopping, and I will see you again on Friday, and then we'll be back on the regular. So there won't, will not be a video tomorrow, um, but there will be again on Friday. So hope you guys have a wonderful week, having a good start to your new year, and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye.